you. They're not going to want to fuck you with a stolen dick now. <laughs> right. So, so that's where the court of record at law idea comes in. I heard you mention that. And Courts of record are common law. That's a proper court, at law, common law, real court, in the truest sense of the word sort of thing. There you go. Yeah, um, but the, but like you say, they're, you, uh, like they're internal arbitration tribunals. They're like private internal things, but they call I'm... them a court anyway. Yeah, because it's their own internal court. Yeah. Right, they'll call it anything they want. But if it was if it was really a common law court, just like Queen's Bench, guess what? It'd be in fucking Queen's Bench. Yeah. They wouldn't have a separate court for it. Yeah. But they do. That tells you right there there's something going on. Also, in Queen's Bench where you sue somebody, there's no pleas. You don't plea guilty or not guilty. The evidence is provided and the judge makes a determination. Right, yeah. There's your second clue that something <laughs> something's rotten in Denmark. <laughs> so with the plea in the summary thing what they're really saying is did you breach the contract or didn't yeah, you kind and, of thing yeah and, and you're entering a plea you're agreeing to you're agreeing now what happens is when you enter a plea hmm. is you're contracting with the court now you're agreeing to arbit to to independent arbitration hmm. right and you are waiving all the deficiencies in the crown's claim against you yeah yeah. So you're just accepting everything that they're claiming as fact. Right. So now you are fucked. It's, it's, it's such a mind game. It's such a trick, isn't it? The, the... It is all a trick, and that's why none of it really has any bearing. Like, there's always remedy at the very... Like, the, the, you probably heard stories of people in the United States and Canada that they, they've, they've even fought with lawyers right to the very end in, in summary convictions against a criminal charge, and then when the judge hands down the sentence, people say something as simple as, I'm not accepting that. Right, and they walk they walk out of their scot free. Well, that is true because again, you have to agree to everything. You have to agree to everything. Right. What do you have to say? Like when the judge says, "What do you have to say for yourself?" Oh, I'm really sorry. Blah blah blah. Okay. Yeah. No, that that's not what he's. That's not what they're trying to establish. When you, what do you have to say for yourself? That's a very good time to say. I have to say that I don't consent to any of this. I'm not agreeing to fuck all. I'm not accepting your conditions. <laughs> yeah. So, so, like, when they give you the option to plead guilty or innocent or whatever it is, um, it, like, in either case, you're agreeing that you're subject to the statute. It, yep. It, it, that, yep. It's a trick, isn't it? it? It's That's all it is. It's all a giant smokescreen. It's yeah. all bullshit. All of it. Yeah. Because, again, none of this would actually withstand the light of day if you were to contest it. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Like, all these presumptions, oh, like, if you plead guilty or not guilty, then you're now bound by this invisible contract with this court. Okay, well, that may be their presumption, but would that really stand up to scrutiny? <laughs> yeah, that's right. If you if you sued them for that deception, yep. they, 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 they got they fold like a tent, wouldn't they? they got... Exactly, that's just it. It's a deception, so it wouldn't stand up to a bona fide claim anyways. So in theory, you could go straight to Queen's Bench and sue them for this deception, in theory. Absolutely, and we should be. Yeah, yeah. They have no contract with me, but they just tried to enforce it in something called summary convictions. They tried to throw me in jail when there wasn't even a contract. Who the fuck are these people? And at common law, that's a kidnap and, and everything. That is a tort. Absolutely, that is a massive tort. Yeah. Trying to enforce a contract that doesn't exist in their own fraudulent internal tribunals? Hmm. Holy shit! Yeah, major human rights violation, isn't it? Is major! It? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So this is what people need to start realizing and waking up and, and realizing the bigger picture of what's going on here. And they're going to realize that it's the, the, beating a traffic ticket and summary convictions is nothing. Look at what's really going on here. Yeah. And let's wake up to it and let's get people reading these Queen's Bench rules and suing people and having the judges who are they, – they, they will fuck you over. They will conspire with the Crown. And by Crown, I mean, this, uh, the, I mean the Crown Corporation. They yeah. will conspire with the Crown because that's one of their brothers in the law society. They will conspire you to harm your human rights, hmm. to, or your common law rights, and, and purposely not enforce the contract you have with this Crown Corporation. But then you have a damage you can now take the, to the defender of co the common law. Right. Right. All these people, all these members of the Bar Association conspired in your court building and denied me access to justice. Hmm. 
They denied me remedy. They abused my common law rights. And you take that claim to the person who's supposed to be enforcing the common law. And I don't think they're going to look very lightly on the situation. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's just not very few of us or none of us yet have actually taken it that far. That's the only thing, isn't it? Yep. Could you imagine if all the people that were involved in the riots decided they just wanted to spend a couple of evenings a week learning their rights instead of rioting? Yeah, exactly. And learn this stuff and start to enforce it? Well, England would change overnight. Yeah. You wouldn't need riots and burning stores to the ground. Yeah, I completely agree. I completely agree. And I agree with you when you say, I've been saying this for a while now, we need to be suing these people. I've been back, I've been saying that for six months to all my crowd over here in England. Yep. You, you know, if, if they've done something, sue them for it, you know? Absolutely. Worst case, you're going to tie them up with so many lawsuits hmm. that they're, they're just going to get bogged down. They're the same way, the same thing they do to us when they just bombard us with paperwork, right? Yeah. yeah. So... But I think uh, even on one of the last radio interviews, I talked about that. Is I mean, that was one of the things. I think uh, Derek brought that up there when he said that uh, that's what the uh, that's what that's one of the things the Nazis said is they got away with everything because nobody complained. Yeah. Yeah. You don't you, you, you don't think that the Germans had the rights the the right to access the courts? Right. Back then, even when the National Socialist Party was in power, they were all about the rights of the working class. That was their big thing. Yeah. Right. Complain if you don't like something. Yeah, yeah. In writing, certified, sworn affidavit, complaint, and then go and enforce it in Queen's Bench. Yeah. Because your adversary cannot file a statement of defense. They cannot swear out an affidavit to rebut yours. Yeah. They yeah. cannot. They're fucked. <laughs> yeah. That's... The only way they can get around that is to get a judge to collude and conspire with them, and then you got a claim against all of them that you will then take to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth of the House of Windsor, who will, will uphold the common law. Yeah. That is crystal clear now. So I, I can see it crystal clear in my mind now. You've got the actual woman, uh, uh, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, the, like you say, upholder of the common law, basically... And then you've got this kind of, kind of leech, kind of hanging off the side of the whole thing, which is the the, the, the crown corporation. Yes. Which is the thing that's going round, running riot, kind of, you know. Yeah, all over the world, getting people to to allegedly contract with it, but they're not real contracts. Yeah. Yeah. They're just pulling the greatest scam that mankind has ever known over the people of the earth. They're just implying everything, and nobody's objecting, and they're just getting away with it. And uh, yep, they're operating on presumptions, and we're just going right along with it. And I, if anybody's going to end up listening to this, you know, on YouTube or whatever, I, I just want to make it uh, crystal clear something you already said that, like these lower level magistrates' courts are, is. It's like the, the, the Queen's Bench is a proper court at law, it, which is what most of us think of a proper common law court type of thing. But these magistrates things, summary conviction courts, are like internal courts that only really apply to internal business under the jurisdiction of... of is that right, Dean? Have I got that right? Absolutely. You just said it completely correctly. Right, right. So if we're even showing up there and and going down there and saying yes, yeah, so, you know, I I was speeding or no, I wasn't, or or arguing with the judge and saying you haven't got a right to do this, you know, we're already in their venue kind of thing. Yes, we're we're already fucked before we even get, you know, just the fact we're even there is already a problem kind of thing. Yeah, I, I would say the fact you're there would give them the, the the ability to operate on the presumption that you've you've consented to their jurisdiction, but it's never ever too late to rebut that. Yeah, like you can show up there and say, "Yeah, guess what? I, I I'm guilty of the facts. I was going 55 in a 50 zone. <laughs> what the fuck is that to you?" <laughs> yeah. Right? Who are you? What does it matter? I don't have a contract with these people saying that I agreed to go only 50 on the public roads that I already own. Yeah, show me the contract kind of thing. Show me the contract where, because you got to remember, it's liability issues. What they're claiming is that you're operating under this Crown Corporation's liability that while you're out on the roads conducting commerce for them, you have to abide by these speed rules 
to limit their liability in case you damage somebody. Ah, yeah, because if they're insuring you, then they've got the right to tell you what to do. Kind exactly. Of now, the only problem is if I'm not doing business for them, then I don't have to abide by their rules. Yeah. But the presumption stands when you produce a driver's license, right? Right. And yeah. then you never then go on to say, well, yeah, of course I've got this license, so I'm licensed to conduct business as this corporation or with them should I choose to, mm. but I never have. There's no contract. I never agreed to. Yeah. I have the ability to, but I've never done it. Yes, I see. Yeah, yeah. So in many ways, it would be cleaner and simpler if there was... If you didn't have a license, if there was no plates on the car and no insurance and nothing on the car. Absolutely. And that's where I tell people to contact whatever you people have over there, like an attorney general or yeah. whoever it is. It would be the top legal dog for this corporation hmm. and say, hey, I've just realized that uh, I never, ever, ever want to conduct commerce or perform a function of your organization. Hmm. Conduct commerce as a for, as a function of your corporation, or perform a function of your corporation. So I'm just going to access the public roads with my own private plate, and utilize my already existing common law right to to access the roads and drive. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to give you 10 days to send me a, a, uh, uh, to send to send me a lawful excuse as to why you claim that I can't do this. Yeah. Now, when they don't reply, you've got all the proof you need that you can and do have the right. And then feel free to contact the queen as well. Say, uh, hey, is it okay? uh, do I not have the right to access the public roads without a license and without a driver's, uh, without a license plate, without a driver's license? Right. Isn't that an already existing inherent common law right? Yeah. And, of course, they're not going to respond, so they're going to agree by silence. And Yep, they're and... going to agree by silence. Yeah. Then let them know you're going to do that, and then you expect them to do their job of upholding your God-given rights when the time comes when this Crown Corporation comes after you. Yeah. I actually kind of pretty much did that, but my knowledge went... Uh, I actually sent them a notice and said I'm going to be exercising my right, and I had a little motorbike, which was just basically like a kid's motorbike with no... It wasn't registered, nothing... And I did it as an experiment and ended up getting arrested. But, you know, I haven't followed it up on the back end now to go and sue them, you know, like we've been discussing. So that's kind of the next bit that I need to do. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Well, that'll go a long ways towards helping. Now, the, the biggest part was differentiating between the two crowns. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Actually, I've got a question there. How does the government, in terms of the United Kingdom of Great Britain, what is that exactly? Shit, I wish I knew. Right. It's also cloak and dagger. I, 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 I tell people that in some of the videos, too, about, you know, I, again, a lot of the stuff I'm talking about are their presumptions and their their very accurate guesses. Mm. Very accurate guesses uh, or deductions I've made and everything else. But really, at some point, we have to stop trying to presume what the other side is doing and stop caring what they're doing. All I can do is make a plain statement of facts that I have inherent human rights. I've got God-given rights. And I'm going to exercise those. And whoever you people are, and I don't give a fuck who you are, if you're claiming I can't do it, then I'm going to give you time to provide a lawful excuse as to why you're claiming I don't have human rights or God-given rights or the right to travel on the roads without one of your fucking licenses. Aside from that, I don't give a shit who you are. <laughs> but I'll tell you right now, you're not going to trample on my God-given rights. Yeah. <laughs> I was reading the Universal Declaration of Human Rights last week, and it's quite encouraging, actually. I didn't realize... Yeah. You know what, though? It just, it just states what's already existing. That's why I don't even like to rely on that document. Yeah, sure, yeah. Right? And P I, as some people hate religion, right? And so that's why I give them the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Or I like to go all the way back to... I sent you that link for the, uh, uh, the Charter of Liberties there from Henry I. Yeah. I love that one. In fact, I think I sent a, a notice to someone here in Canada, the Receiver General or the Attorney General in Canada, asking if, uh, if, the, if the Charter of Liberties by Henry I is still in full force and effect because one of the points in there is uh, that he uh, orders a strict peace to be maintained throughout his kingdom. All right. So these people are breaching the peace. Yeah. So yeah. isn't that something that Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth of the House of Windsor should be, uh, should be looking into if these people are breaching the peace? Hmm. Yeah. Has anybody ever sent a complaint that there's been a breach of the peace? 
They don't just act because there's been a breach of the peace. There has to be a complaint first. Yeah. 